So we back after a long week. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, you guys. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Finally back in the lab with a chance to do this video. So um, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of be like a a preview slash review of what happened against the Rams. Some of you guys will see it tonight when I finish it. Some of you see it tomorrow. Whenever you see it, just know that I appreciate you for watching and and, and bearing with me during this Thanksgiving holiday. And uh, again, I wish you guys. I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Got your bellies full and. Got to see family and friends, which is what it's all about. And that's what I got to do also. So the topic of this video is um, Lamar's, you know, his play on third down. We had uh, seven third down passes, and Lamar was seven for seven with great results. So that's what we're going to dive into tonight and um, get this out. And not going to be a lot of fanfare, but let's just dive right into it. Because I've, I've been wanting to get this out since I, I saw that stat, which I saw it. Maybe Tuesday morning, and I uh, just been trying to find ways to get it out. Couldn't get it to you, but here's coming now. So let me make my mouse a little bigger, and then we can jump right into it. Oh, wrong button. And again, I hope you guys sipped that purple Kool Aid last week, because I know I did. That was a, it was a great win, uh, even bigger win coming up. I'm sorry, even bigger game coming up in the morning, because this is Saturday night when I'm recording this. Um, and good thing, I'm going to the last game of the year. I'll be at the Baltimore Ravens Steelers game, uh, which is I think it's December 29th. So you know, I hope to see you guys there. You know, come up, say hi, and whatnot. But let's get, let's get right to this film. Uh, let's set the scene right quick. So what we're gonna do is the first the wide view. We're gonna look at Lamar and the receivers and, and what they did to get open and to win on on the routes. And then when we look at the back view. We want to focus in on Aaron Donald because Aaron Donald was basically invisible this game for the most part. I didn't look at his stats and see what he said, what he had, but I just don't remember him making any splash plays at all. But we're going to look at um, what he did during the from the back view, and we'll look at the receivers and DBs and Lamar from the wide view. So let's set the scene for each each play. This is the first quarter early in the game, 8-19 left, third and four on the six-yard line. I don't know if it's the negative six or the positive six. Let's see. We're on the positive six. So you got an empty set, and they're in. He's playing man. I don't know what kind of, and he's playing man because he's going with him. So I'm assuming they're man all across. He has him, he has him, he has him. He's the free guy. Weddle's the free guy trying to guard, you know, jump routes or whatnot because you know what Weddle can't guard anybody one on one. We all know that. Got a guy in motion. Hollywood just comes up and runs a little stutter route right here. Go back and find Hollywood. My fact, let me just let it let it play first. Let me let it play. Then we'll go back and talk about it. Let it play, then we'll talk about it. Motion guy. Doo -doo. Just run away from. Him. Simple. Simple. All we did was this guy scored a touchdown right here, Hollywood Brown. He's gonna come up on this guy, let some of the little traffic go. He's gonna give him a quick one two and just outrun him to the left. Or to the top of the screen. Not right there. This this guy has Hollywood. Weddle's looking at the quarterback. He should be close to Hollywood, but he can't because actually Weddle really set a pick on that unintentionally because he can't outrun him unless this guy thought Weddle was going to help him. That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe they thought, maybe they supposed to be bracketing Hollywood because he didn't really even like play, man. He just bagged up. And then Hollywood got in a little crease right there and just runs to the open space. Easy. Great accurate throw, too. Great, accurate throw. I see if we can find Donald from this back view. I don't know where he is. Okay, I found him. So he's going against Bozeman right here. This is Donald. He's going to be going against Bozeman. Let's see how Bozeman does against Aaron Donald. Good set. Get get out of place. He's way out of place. But he got hit. Screw, no, <laughs> Screw knows what to do. He got hit. Screw is coming to help. So we got a double team on him. Good job, um, G. Roll for scheming that up. Bozeman didn't even, I mean, Scurry didn't even look to the right. He had nobody to block. He went straight left because he knew Aaron Donald was left. And I guess, you know, he got all pro to the right anyway. 
All right, let's move on to the next play. It is 9-01 in the second quarter. Ball's on the six again. I think this is the positive six again. That's not the six. What, what's going on here? That's not the six. Ball's on 29. I'm sorry. It's 36. Ball's on 29. It's 36. Got motion again. To a little bunch set. Got a lot of man right there. Good hit, uh, hit set of the Robinson. Not the back. I mean, not the backfield, but coming on the crosser. So, with, with, with man, man, people playing man defense, you kind of want to run crossing routes to get your guys open. So, Seth is the guy that came in motion. Let's back it up a little bit further. He's the guy that came in motion. And obviously, they're man. Now they got a little bunch right here. Are you going to swing this guy to get one of those linebackers out of there? They're going to swing the running back. Let's see what Seth does. Just basically uses these two guys as a screen. That's all he does. I'm assuming this is one of the tight ends. This is maybe Hollywood. And uses the tight end as a screen. He's going to come underneath it. Uh, this guy is going, I don't know where he's going. Maybe he's trying to jump this crosser. But he, he leaves this void right here. And I, really, he got two guys open. He got he got a Hollywood right here. I think this Hollywood. Which he may take a lick if he catch it. But he got Seth coming late. Look at that. Look at that. Got to be an accurate throw, though, because the guy's screaming hard. Got to be accurate. It's a little bit behind, but he had enough of space to, to maybe twist and catch it. Enough enough separation to twist and catch it. So it wasn't an accurate throw, but he had enough of space to twist and catch it and, and keep going. Now here's Aaron Donald right here. Again, it's Aaron Donald and Bozeman. One-on-one. -on -one. They try a little stunt. Good pass off. Good job of passing that off, Bozeman. He basically takes Aaron Donald all the way to Stanley. Watch. Bozeman going to take Aaron Donald all the way to Stanley. Now, I don't like that he has his shoulders turned, but he does do a good job of coming back off on Matthews. Look at that. Good job of coming back off. On, got him square real quick. Got him square. Good pocket. Good pocket. Good job on, on Aaron Donald. And once, once Stanley gets handed, I mean, Donald gets handed off to Stanley, Stanley does a good job of just keeping him out of the backfield. Now, again, this throw is not ideal. Let me see. One more frame. One more frame. Right there. He has to kind of contort and come back and catch it. But, you know, because of the separation right there, he's able to do that and pick up another first down. Two for two on third down. Third down passes. Keep in mind, we're talking third down passes only. All right, number three. It is third quarter. Uh, we're up 28-6, third and eight on 38. So you start with the bunch set. Now you come to a two by two set. Good throw on the crosser. Good throw on the crosser. And Mark Andrews always get yak. Andrews always get yak. So let's see what happens. So we know Andrews is the guy he's gonna go to. Excuse me. Start off in his bunch set. Uh, I think this is the set the Robbins game. Come in motion, make it a two by two. And Andrews is the the guy we're gonna target. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is the play where we have kind of like a mesh concept, have two guys kind of go shallow, and then when the linebackers jump it, Andrews kind of comes behind it. I think that's what's going on right here. Let's 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 see. Yeah, here you here are your two mesh guys. These two mesh guys right here are basically bait to pull these linebackers up. He, they're basically gonna cross, have run shallow crossers both. They're going to pull these two linebackers up, and Andrew's going to fit right in behind them. See, they got a pause on this crossing, trying to guard that. Andrew's going to fit right in there. Boom, the ball's right between them. Now, again, Andrew's, the throw is not, he doesn't lead him, but I don't think he can lead him on this throw because he's trying to fit it between two guys. But we'll see it better from the back view. But he gives Andrew a good enough ball to catch, Recognize where he where he is, then get yards after the catch. Good job, Hollywood. Well, okay job, Hollywood, blocking downfield. Get your butt out the way, cause we know we all know you're not healthy. All right, let's find Aaron Donald. I think this is Aaron Donald again over here with Bozeman. I think. Since that guy in motion, Stanley gets a hand on on Donald. Bozeman has two hands on him, and just running wide. 
They just running wide. Good job of running wide. Wide. Now let's talk about this little pick for a minute. These are the two pick guys. You see these two, this linebacker and this safety guy kind of sit. Look at Andrews right there, gonna fit right behind him on the, on the ram head. Fit right there. Now, if he leads him, this dude probably touched the ball, or knock it down, or maybe even pick it. So he kind of holds him up and good throw, good catch, good throw and good catch, good throw and good catch. And here's Donald back here, not even close. Lamar's way up here. So good job on everybody's part. Again, another first down on third down. Third down pass. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip to Tally. All right, next third down. This is the fourth one so far. We have three of three so far. Um, 10, 19 left in the third, up 26. 30, 36 from the seven. Let it run, let it run. Just basically window dressing to see what kind of coverage they're in. They're in some sort of man because he keeps following Hollywood. Just drop it off to Ingram. Drop it off to Ingram. Ingram has the advantage because a linebacker is guarding him because he knows his man. Run a great check route. Run a great check route. Eyes on Ingram. 58, trying to out leverage him and beat him to this out route. Stick his foot in the ground and get back in the middle. Now here comes a great throw to fit it before this guy gets there and give Ingram a chance to get up the field. Good throw by Lamar. Good throw. Good route and good throw. Uh, so what we're going to look at on this back view is the route and the route, the coverage by 58, and here's Aaron Donald. So let's watch Aaron Donald first. Donald and Bozeman. Give him this throw. Okay. Uh, he got Bozeman on this one. Luckily, luckily we had the hot right here. This was the hot. So Ingram probably was not the intended guy, but because... Lamar got, got Aaron Donald right in his grill. He came hot and, and made a good throw. He ain't back out there. Can't stand tall. Stood tall. Made a good throw. Stood tall and made a good throw. But I don't think Ingram was the number one guy. I almost, almost, I assume it was, it was Andrews. Because when you look at from the back, if you look at Andrews, about to go in, in the back of the end zone. Just watch Andrews real quick. Because Weddle's going to have to turn all the way around and go Andrews because he outflanked right now. But because Donald's in his in Lamar's mouth, he drops it off to, to Ingram. Let's look at Ingram's route real quick. Look at Ingram's route and the coverage. Key, key 58. He's trying to beat him to the flats. He's trying to beat him to the flats. Ingram put that foot in the ground, shoot right back across the middle. Lamar sticks it on him and doesn't lead him too far where 28 or whatever number this is can, can get him down. Gives him a chance to get yards after the catch. Great throw. And this is the only third down so far that Aaron Donald has gotten even close to Lamar. Um, I forgot to set it up. So this is what? We're up 35-6. Third quarter, 6.43 left, third and nine. And I think this I think this is the play where his best throw on, is on. Two by two. To me, this was his best throw. Yes, I love this. A comeback route to the sticks. Comeback route to the sticks. To me, this is my favorite throw of the game. Just going to... Straight drop back like a professional quarterback, so they say. The the uh, traditional guys set his feet and throw a bullet to, you know, an open receiver. Great route by Seth Roberts, too. Sink his hips. Ball on time. Where nobody can catch it. Ball on time. Ball on time. I, that's, you can't beat that. We'll come back to Aaron Donald. Let's watch Lamar's mechanics. Drop, drop. Boom. Right there. Right on time. No hesitation, no second thoughts. Ball on time, just sticks for a first down. Let's see what Aaron Donald does this play. Uh, let's find him. Uh, again, Aaron Donald and Bozeman because uh, Stanley has his outside guy. Just let Boer rush. Throws him by. Um, what was that? Bozeman still fighting. Push him by. So he got close to Lamar. Not, not a threat of a sack, but he did get a little bit too close. And right here at this point here, 
Bose was hanging on for dear life. Hanging on for dear life. But he hung on long enough to get that first down. Not bad. I appreciate you, Bozeman. You, you, you looks like you did a lot of one-on-one -on -one with possibly the best defensive player in the league. Quite possibly. Good job. I, I salute you, Bozeman. I salute you. Because I thought you had more help than that. Maybe you had more help on other plays, but third down, you've been kind of doing it, doing it yourself. I appreciate you. Next up, uh, what's this? Third and four from the 12. This is play six, I think. Empty again. And we did a lot of good empty stuff. Great arm angle change. Changing of the arm angle. And you'll probably see it better from the back view. But all we need is four, I think. Hollywood, all he does is stutter. Run straight at the guy. And stutters him so he can kind of freeze him. Make him be flat-footed. Then run away from him. Run at him. Okay, he flat-footed. Now I'm just outrunning him. Good throw, not to lead him and get him smashed by this dude, but far enough away from the trailing guy that he doesn't, he, help, he doesn't have a chance to catch it. We'll take the first down. I think this is where he changed the arm angle. I'm almost sure. So this is the guy that, that uh, Hollywood's going to run away from. 58. Flat-footed. Okay, over the top, not there because this guy's jumping. Throw it out the back door. Good ball placement. Great ball placement. Look at that. Don't I don't want to lead you and get you killed, but I don't want to throw it too far behind you and let him have a chance to knock it down or pick it. Great job. Great job. Let's see where Aaron Donald is. Aaron Donald is on the edge. Okay. Big O. This your chance, Big O. You got Aaron Donald out here. What you got? Kick, kick, kick. Hey, ooh, look at them long arms. Look how long that boy arms is. R. Can't stop it right where I want it. I saw that first right there. Look how look how long that arm is. God. All in Aaron Donald's face. Alright, now the speed's been taking over. That's one thing Big O has problem with speed. Aaron Donald got it all. Speed and power. But now he's back he's past Lamar. Can can Zeus recover? Oh, they go to Cavalry. Yonder bailed him out. And Lamar stepped up. Not bad though. If he come if it takes him that long to get to Lamar. Lamar should be either getting rid of the ball or scrambling. So not bad, Zeus. Not bad. Because he's in a wide, I'm going to say a wide nine-ish maybe technique. And you kind of go out there to him to close the space and get enough on him with that right there and that super long gadget on. Then Young will come to help you out because they're only rushing three. So they dropped eight, and we still got the ball in there for a first down. They dropped eight, and we still got the ball in for a first down. And so that puts a six for six. Now, it's later on in the same drive, beginning of the fourth quarter. And this is the last drive Lamar was in. Maybe the last play he was in. Um, third and seven from the seven. Got rushing. 270 yards rushing. Love it. Beginning of the fourth quarter. Love it. Going empty again. Got a little pick play. I see the pick. I don't know if they showed it on the, the game action. But Seth's going to set the pick. He better going to run around and let this dude run into him. He, what the good thing is he got out of the way. So there was minimal contact, so they can't say, hey, that was a pick. He got out of the way. There was enough space to get Willie open. Not go eat Willie. You're trying to get the home. That's this is home right here. This is your home. Get the ball there. Die. There we go. Willie got home. Seven for seven. Um oh, let's check Aaron Donald out this last play. Did a rollout too. Did a little rollout. They're rolling away from Don. So we really didn't even have to even block him too much. Just kind of keep him at bay. So they're rolling away from him. So he's not a factor on this play. Get home, set. I mean, Willie. Seven for seven on first downs. I'm sorry. Seven for seven on third down passes from a guy that was not supposed to be a good quarterback. From a guy that they said was a running back. But again, big game in the morning versus San Francisco. I uh, hope and pray we come with a game because I know they got a good defense. I still don't think their defense can stop what we do, though. I just don't. I don't. I know they're good on defense, but just we're just so different from everybody else. So different from everybody else that I don't think they can stop it. But, again, this is your first time here. Make sure you like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Um, share a friend. 
I'm sorry, share this with a friend, share it with all your group chats or whatever kind of Facebook or Instagram or Twitter groups you're in. And let them know that the, uh, the flock is back strong. And we don't need those extra bandwagon guys. We, we keeping it real with our A1s. A1s from day one. All right, so this is Coach Evans with Sip the Salad Percents Ravens Roundup. Sorry so late on this video, but better late than never. With the, with the, with the, with the, with the,